During that two months, on the videos, we can see that Mr. Masalta had masturbated and ejaculated on multiple items of food in the store. It was items of food that weren't commercially sealed. Again, we have many more videos to go through, but in what we have already seen, we have multiple victims and we have multiple felony charges against Mr. Masalta. I don't know if this is some sort of challenge or I, I just don't understand these dudes trying to get attention, but over the past few months, and I don't hear a lot of content creators talking about this, but it's very disgusting and it's very disturbing. I have a few more video clips that I'm going to show you of grown men, perverted, nasty, grown men who ain't got what's coming to them because if they do this to the right person, they probably going to be asleep forever. But grown men going around masturbating that's the only way, other way to know how to say it i don't know if that's a, that word is youtube friendly or not but i don't care at this point these guys are out there stroking their chickens and busting off on on random women they, they busting off in your food they busting off all over the place it's disgusting but we begin tonight with that disturbing story in Shambly, and we do want to warn viewers uh, the details may be considered graphic. Good evening, I'm Russ Spence. I'm Courtney Bryant. Shambly police say a man is accused of performing a sex act on himself and leaving bodily fluids on a woman at Whole Foods. Well, Fox News' Mary Smith is live outside Shambly Police Headquarters after speaking with the victim tonight. Mary? Yeah, that's right. The victim says this happened during what was supposed to be a routine trip to Whole Foods, but the unthinkable happened. Horrified and enraged. Just no words. Disgusted. Dr. Sabine Lovell, a plastic surgeon here in Metro Atlanta, is still processing what happened to her during a trip to this Whole Foods on Peachtree Boulevard in Shambly Saturday. I was going to pick up a couple things. I see this gentleman walking down the aisle who's pretending to be shopping and he's holding a basket. And he looked kind of like a normal gentleman, like late 20s, early 30s, nothing like extra suspicious about him. She says she then reached for a bag of chips, but felt something on her back. So I bent over to grab the chips. And as I was doing that, I felt something like wet and warm on my back. And so I grabbed my, I put my hand on the small of my back. And then I saw that it was like this gooey, you know, white, substance and I turn around and I see this guy looking at me and then he zips his pants up. Lovell tells Fox 5 once she realized what happened, she chased the man before calling police. I wanted to draw as much attention as possible to the situation so that there would be a lot of witnesses. Shambly police say a witness saw the man drive off in a black Kia. Investigators tell Fox 5 they identified a person of interest and the investigation is ongoing. This was broad daylight on a Saturday. I'm sure he's done this before or this could escalate to something more like rape or murder so I want to make sure that this goes on his record and it follows him and a spokesperson with Whole Foods says that they are cooperating with the police investigation we're live in Shambly Mary Smith Fox 5 News just truly so disturbing Mary really sorry that that woman had to go through that thanks nowhere is safe at this point I live in Metro Atlanta and that that incident at Whole Foods that these are all stories that happened this year within the past few months the first story I just showed you that was a male out in Colorado I think in Fort Collins not too far from Denver I think it's to the south or east of Denver I've I haven't been to Colorado in many years but I need to go back out there but that guy skeeted off in in food this guy skeeted on a doctor while she was shopping at Whole Foods. And I've been to that Whole Foods. You know, in, in Atlanta's like anywhere else. It's very uh, segregated based on class and race to a degree. Uh, it's a lot of black people in the southern half of Metro Atlanta, Clayton County, South DeKalb, Henry County, South Fulton, South Cobb. You get You get the pattern here. But in the north, it's much wider and much more foreign. A lot of Latinos and Asians in the north. But it's black folks up there, too. You just you just don't see this type of crazy behavior happening up there. So, like I said, nowhere is safe. Nowhere is safe. 
A Houston woman filed a lawsuit against Dollar Tree and a local shopping plaza. after She claims she was assaulted by a man while inside the store. She was one of three women who say a man left bodily fluids on them. Fox's Sherman DeSell has more. A Houston woman who chooses to remain anonymous tells Fox she was visiting this Dollar Tree December 5th with a friend when a man walked behind her and whispered things sexually explicit in nature. He said he would f my um, that, you know, he wanted to have me. The woman says after being shocked for a few seconds, she turned around, yelled for him to get away and walked to her friend on a different aisle. After checking out her items, she made a gruesome discovery outside in the car. I feel this cold in my back, like in my buttocks. And I said, oh, I feel it. I think I'm wet. And when she looked at me, she just panicked. She's like, oh, my God. The woman went back inside the store and found out other women reported similar incidents. I just got sexually assaulted in your store. And she turns around and she yells in Spanish, not knowing that I am bilingual. And she says, oh, another one. We just have another one. And I was like so stunned. I'm like, what do you mean you have another one? She's like, you're the third case in less than four days. Since then, the lawsuit alleges her incident report has not been followed up. Requests for any store surveillance video of the incident have been ignored. Her attorney claims the Dollar Tree location is negligent for not taking the allegation seriously. Anna Greenberg says the store is inadequately staffed, contributing to more crime. What's the point of having video surveillance footage if you're not going to actually use it to prevent crimes or properly address crimes that have been reported. These are your three weirdos. This is the guy from the Houston dollar store incident that you just watched. This is the guy from the Colorado incident at the Safeway grocery store. Never been to a Safeway grocery store, I don't believe. Maybe I went one time when I was in Colorado, but we have Kroger and Publix mostly here in Atlanta and all over Georgia. It's a regional thing. And then, of course, this is your Miami, Florida guy who ejaculated on a woman at a Walmart. And um, the guy who did it in Georgia, I don't have his photo, but you get the you get the overall message of what this video is about. Uh, like I said, there are wicked, perverted, sick, twisted individuals out here. And they, I guess, are so deranged. And so mentally ill, they need to be locked up. But I, I, I just, I don't, I don't know. I, I don't understand why this is happening. This is a crazy society we live in. I don't remember hearing about this growing up when I was a young man. You know, I, I, I just find this to be very, very disturbing. And here's one more that was even more disturbing. Look, he fucking nutted on my fucking leg. You go to hell, bitch. Oh my god! He done it all my He done it all my leg! Okay, so that's the last one that you just saw. That incident, I believe, happened a couple months ago in Philadelphia. It went kind of viral on Instagram. You could hear the woman saying he nutted on my leg. She was crying. She was very upset, as she should have been. Um... Like I said, all these incidents happened this year in 2024. And I just don't hear a lot of people bringing attention to this. And for those of you who follow my content, you know I'm I'm a very traditional minded individual. Some people tell me that I'm mean and that I'm 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 too hard on women, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. and I'm really not. I actually love women and the reason why I am the way that I am is because this is the world we live in and, and, and men have gotten too soft. And that leads me into what I'm about to say when it comes to women. You see these guys are preying on single women by themselves, right? These dudes may be in sales. They may not be getting laid. These, these are sick, twisted dudes. They may be addicted to porn. I don't know. It's no excuse for them doing it. But what I'm about to say, it, it, it would eliminate a lot of this. And I know all women are not going to be in relationships with the men. Some women are going to be single for the rest of their life, unfortunately. But I'm a huge advocate of of women traveling either in groups or having a man. I, I want every woman that wants a man to have one. As a man, 
I believe that all men need to be with a woman. That's the way God designed it. We need each other. We're we're together for a reason. Out of all those incidents you saw, wasn't none of them with their man. Some of them may have had a man. Some of them may not have had a man. And like I said, I know sometimes a woman may be going to the store from work. She may be going to a, a, a jog in the park. A, a woman does have the right to go out by herself. I'm not saying that you shouldn't be able to move around how you want to, but you see what type of society we live in. Uh, Colorado, Georgia, Florida, Texas, and the the last one I think was in, in Pennsylvania outside of Philadelphia, either in Philly or outside of Philly. So like I said, nowhere is safe. Even in the suburbs, you see stuff like this happening. Uh, ladies, if you don't have a man... If, if you if you're by yourself, I at the very least recommend you carry a taser with you or, or, or some mace or something. Carry something with you because you got these type of dudes out here, these creepy, nasty dudes who are willing to do that. That's that's dangerous. Like, what if they got that pack? What if they got that virus that, that you can't get rid of and they're going around busting off on random women? That's disgusting to me. I see beautiful women every day. Almost every day when I go out, whether I'm at the store, the gas station, the mall, wherever I'm going, I run into single beautiful women of all races. You know, Atlanta's pretty diverse, so I see white, Latina, Asian, black, everything. And I look and I just be okay, it's a nice looking woman, but I don't think to jerk off and ejaculate on no random woman. That's that's insane, bro. Like that's weird. And like I said, it, it's going to, I don't know, I, I, I ain't advocating for violence, but I'm going to just say this right here. I'm going to leave it alone. All it's going to take is for them to do this to the right woman. And maybe that woman got her dude in the car. Maybe the dude is, is, is not beside her at the moment. And he going to react. And he going to react like a madman is supposed to react. Because a man is to protect his woman. I don't even know what I would I man. I don't, I don't, like I said, I'm gonna try to keep the the, the rhetoric at a minimum because you know how YouTube is. Um, but man, look, no man better ever even dream about doing that to my chick. That's just insane. I ain't never had no man disrespect my chick while I'm out in public because real recognize real. When you a man and you got your girl on your arm, most men will look, and that's all they're gonna do is look. Cause, Cause, men respect men. Real men respect real men. Now, every now and then, you might have a situation pop off where things get ugly, but most of the time, ain't no dude finna bother no other dude's girl. Why that dude with his girl? That's just the the, the law of the land. That's just the way it works. So, like I said, ladies, y'all watch your back. Keep your head on the swivel. And when you go, even if you go into the grocery store, broad daylight, these incidents are happening in broad daylight. These dudes are just that bold and that sick. I would recommend you go out with your friend, your sister, a co-worker, wherever, even if you're just going to go grab a loaf of bread and some eggs from the grocery store. It's, it's that crazy out there now. It shouldn't be that way, but that's just the world we live in right now. Like I said, and if you, if you, if you can't have no female to accomplish you, I'm sorry, accompany you, my bad. Have some mace. Have some uh, pepper spray. Have a taser. Tasers are cheap. Pepper spray is cheap. Mace them up. Tase them up. Call the police. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's crazy out here, but I ain't going to take up too much of y'all time. Ladies, watch your back. Uh, and if you're eating out, out in public, inspect your food every time you eat your food. You, you shouldn't have to worry about whether somebody them blasted off in your food but you saw what the first video showed the dude was at working at a grocery store skiing off in food like what the fuck but anyway y'all like the video share subscribe follow comment peace keep your head on the swivel get that mace get that taser